What's going on, all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William, and it's almost fitting that we're discussing this on Today of All Days. As I was working on this video about Anthem's post-launch comic, I was told in our Discord that comic legend Stan Lee has passed away today. I am utterly heartbroken, to say the least. However, this should be a time of celebration and remembrance. His incredible personality, wit, and creativity has been enjoyed the world over, and the same is equally true for his unforgettable characters, stories, and his legacy. So, to honor this comic legend, let's talk about Anthem's upcoming mini-comic series and leave an excelsior in the comment section below in honor of Stan Lee. So, we have known that Dark Horse and Bioware would be teaming up to create an Anthem mini-comic series for a while now, but today we received more details regarding Anthem, a new verse. The story is written by Mac Walters, who is best known for Mass Effect Foundation, and Alexander Freed, who wrote Rogue One, a Star Wars story, with Eduardo Francisco providing the art. If Eduardo's name sounds familiar to anyone, he lent his talent to DC's Infinite Crisis back in 2015, and is apparently a ghost as far as finding a picture of him goes. The story for the series will follow recently orphaned Kismet, a young boy who is rescued during an ambush by Yarrow and his adoptive sister, Johnny. We first met Yarrow back at PAX West 2018, who is, quote, an old retired freelancer who worries that their traditions and worth are being forgotten. He remembers when the freelancers were more respected than they are now, and is trying to restore the group to its former glory. The new miniseries is supposedly to serve as a prequel to the events of the game when we first log in, which makes total sense considering Yarrow, as mentioned before, is retired. I wish I could say more about what the comic's going to be about, but from what details we have in the cover art, there really isn't much I can say or much I can go off of. It appears that Yarrow, or what I'm assuming to be Yarrow, is combating a group of scars which may or may not have been responsible for Kismet's recent orphaning. But what's really interesting to me is, depending on when the events of the miniseries take place exactly, there is a chance that we could meet Kismet and his adoptive sister Johnny in the game when it releases in February. The first issue of the series is set to release February 27th of 2019, a few days after Anthem releases, so if you want to pick up the comic, you can pre-order it now on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, and other comic shops. I'll leave a link in the description below as soon as we have those pre-order links. So, what do you all think about Anthem's miniseries? Thoughts on the plots and characters? Should there be a full-on comic series for Anthem, not just a miniseries? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you enjoy what we are doing here, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Anthem content. As always, a special thank you to my patrons for their generous donations and support of your Anthem. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Peace out, everyone, and Excelsior.